Women are just as ugly as men. We live in a day and age where women have been convinced that in order to be accepted by the opposite sex, in order to be accepted by their peers, they have to fake how they actually appear. So what that looks like is I wake up, I wash my face, I now protect my face from the world. I hide my face. I cover my face up. I lie to everyone around me and I give them the false perception of the way I look. I put on makeup. I have fake eyelashes. I do all this augmentation to my face in order to hide it. What is the end result? The end result is more attention, more validation, more attraction, more, more, a, 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 a magnetism created by deceit. So what most men don't understand is the woman that they're attracted to, a lot of times they don't actually look like that. You have to remember that. You have to remember that, guys. You guys, we have to remember this. I say this once again, if you see somebody who's pretty and you're attracted to her, you have to realize, wait, she's not actually that pretty. She doesn't even look like that. She's lying to me. She's starting off our interactions with each other with a lie. The foundation of my attraction to her is based off of a lie. You have to, you have to remember this. You have to remember this because it's almost like women are, are, are casting spells on men nowadays. And the spell is this attraction spell. And whatever I can do to basically garner as much attention as a woman, I will do that in order for me to get the best out of a relationship with a man or the most resources from a man or the most attention or time or, or energy from a man. Fraudulent behavior. Let's look at the term fraud. A person or thing intended to deceive others typically by unjustifiably claiming or being credited with accomplishments or qualities. Very, very relevant. Women intend to mask their face. It's called masking for a reason. It's called concealing for a reason. It's very uh, ironic. Those terms are being used in the products themselves. Women know what they're doing. They know that, hey, I have a blemish here and I want to make sure that you don't see it. I have a level of pigmentation that's not necessarily even here, so I want to even that out. And I want to conceal this and that, and I want to, you see what I'm, you see what I'm getting at? Women know what they're doing. They, don't, they might not know the impact of what they're doing, or the future consequences of what they're doing, or the morality of what they're doing, but they know what they're doing. I don't care if you're doing it for, I don't care what you're doing it for. I guess maybe the only exception might be if you have a commercial job and you're required to do it. Okay, other than that, everybody else, you guys know what you're doing. So when a woman goes on her first date and she wants to look quote unquote her best, she doesn't actually look like that. That would be like me saying, I want to have my best lift in the gym. So right before I'm going to shoot up some freaking um, anabolic steroids and I'm going to hit this weight and I'm going to think that I actually accomplished something. You did not. You are merely a dependent on some type of product. You are a slave to it. It controls you. It dictates how you move and how you behave. Women are just as ugly as we are, but society will not reveal that to you. You have to find it out for yourself by being honest with yourself. Women are just as ugly as men. If you take all that stuff off, if you, cl if you claw all that clay off and you, you know, get some alcohol and you Wipe it off. She looks basically like a regular human being. She looks just like you do. Whether it's when you wake up or after you wash your face, after you get out of the shower, she looks just like you. But you would never remember that because you're constantly bombarded with stuff on social media, with how a woman is trying to fake how she looks, whether it's at work, she's trying to be quote unquote professional, but professional never meant lying. Anyways. They, they, they have this whole veneer. Everybody plays into it. Everybody is, everybody is a part of it. It's like a big 
it's like a big charade or or a big joke that everyone is is participating in which is why it's so normalized because it's normalized it's like it's okay but it's not it doesn't matter what you normalize if it's okay or if it's not is the crux of the issue but we don't see this why don't we see it first off there isn't a cultural media monopoly on a man's image like at least not in the in the facial way like we have magazines but they're not about how to improve the way you look and how to make sure that your eyelashes are perfect shape and how to see there isn't anything like that for men that's popular but on the opposite end with women there's a whole cultural commercial industry around making profit off of a woman being insecure about how she looks so that is what causes women to kind of feel like they have to do it right another thing is that women are judged a lot harder on how they look because that's just how men are but more importantly when, what, what everybody f seems to forget is the woman is also judging the woman the woman is saying oh she ugly the woman is saying oh she needs that because she's only projecting how she feels about herself and because she's projecting about how she feels about herself she, of course she's going to be jealous or meticulous or tearing down on another woman's looks because that's how she feels about herself inside she's only going to massively project her own emotions toward other women so this competitive or better yet this toxic type of manipulation that women use against each other they're going to always have that in them I'm not saying always let me rephrase not always they're going to naturally have that and they're and a lot of them are going to act out on that yo girl you need to go do that oh you need to you need to do this and that and this and that so there's going to be a competitive slash insecure self-sabotaging type of relationship that women have with each other so they're going to be constantly looking for approval or better yet trying to get above or compete against their rivals the woman who they you know might have a little bit of animosity with that also plays into it too it's not just the fact that they're trying to be attracted towards men they're also trying to get ahead of their own insecurities and their own rivalries and their competition with other women women are obsessed about how they look and I don't know this it's this I don't and I don't know if this is natural or if it's cultural or if it's a combination of the two and I'm not saying it's wrong to really care about how you look I think that's fine because I, I think in a way women are kind of naturally like that and I think it's okay to have a healthy amount of awareness and to be self-aware of how you look and how you appear and to want to look good there's nothing wrong with that but the problem is the way things have gone up to now in the, in, in the present is that everyone is so hyper obsessed they're to the point where they become vain to the point where they they're they use trickery now and deceit and deception in order to give this false illusion of how they look to make everybody go along with their delusion that is very toxic it's very unhealthy and it's dishonorable it is the opposite of virtue I would argue that it's evil and I don't care if people are gonna say oh well it's not that big of a deal I don't care being not that big of a deal is not a valid argument it's not that big of a deal no as a man what can you do about it first we'll start with the men then I'll give um, women some points as a man you have to understand when you look at her when you see her at the gym or in the store and you're walking past her and she's got all that stuff on her face you have to remember she doesn't look like that dude she doesn't look like that she does not look like that you have to remember and ask yourself what does she look like when she wakes up what does she look like when she gets out of the shower what does she gets up what does she look like when no one else is looking this is the root of the issue and this will help you because it'll become evident to you when you see women that women play this good game 
that they're confident, that they're assertive, that they have a presence about them, an aura, it is all fake because it's based off of a lie. And that lie is, this is how I present myself. And, and understand this, you don't know how deep that goes. It can just be appearance-wise, but it might be personality-wise. It might be emotionally-wise. She might be lying about how she is, how she behaves, her own personality. She might not even, a lot of that might not even be real as well. So you have to really give pause to women who wear makeup. I'm sorry, all you guys are in question. Because what you're doing, it is out of order. And I would argue that it's evil. Because I don't care if society says it's okay. If society says it was okay to do something evil, would we still say, oh, now that everybody says it's okay to do it, therefore it's good now? No, that's not how it works. So as a man, you have to understand and you give pause because you're going to have to get this woman out of this, this mindset. Being overly obsessed and insecure about her own looks, it is, it is not healthy. And all it's going to do is it's going to make her seek validation for her looks. It's going to make her be, go to, go to a lot of, go to a lot of spending time and energy of waste, wasting energy to, to build up this false image. And to these men out there, <clears throat> who think it's okay for women to wear makeup. You are part of the problem. And I'm sorry, I didn't, even bring, I didn't even bring this up. Men, a lot of men, they want their women to wear makeup. Why? Maybe you feel like you didn't get the woman you want, but now you have to make her go along with the delusion, and you have to kind of shame her for not wearing makeup. You have to make her feel like she's not good enough without makeup. You are a big part of the problem because if she cares about you, if she wants to do things for you, she wants to be that type of person for you, she, she might even want to lie for you. She might even want to ride or die for you. But a lot of times it's riding and dying. It's not ethical. It's not a valid situation or it's not a valid solution. It is the opposite of progress. It's going backwards. Because I love a man, I'm going to lie. Because I love a man, I'm going to be delusional. No, fool, you don't love yourself. Start there. But don't ever let a man try and say that you shouldn't love yourself. And now I see how these words might be construed or distorted against me. How are you going to tell, you, how are you going to tell me how I'm to love myself? First off, love is not lie. First off, love is not the opposite of virtue. Love is not evil. Love is not deception. So don't, don't sit here and try and say that you love yourself by, by making other men and women fall into your web of lies. That is not love at all. That is called something else. Maybe hate. Maybe contempt. Maybe ill will. Not love. Anyways, these men out there who encourage these women to basically fulfill a fantasy in a man's head, you're being objectified. So if you really love a man, that means you love yourself. And if you really love yourself, that means you respect yourself. If you got dignity for yourself, you're not going to allow yourself to be objectified. Therefore, you are not going to put up with a man who objectifies you. Case in point. Dun, dun, that, I'm, I'm finished. Women, your standards that you guys have amongst each other, it's too high. And the reason why I can, I can tell that it's too high is because you guys don't even fit the measure of standards you guys hold on other people. This beauty standard, nobody can meet it. No one. And yes, it might be glamorous. And it might have a, a, a certain attraction to it. But the emotional consequences in the long term are a lot worse than they are in the short term. Yes, you get this woman who's pretty and she's at the zenith of her, of her, of her, of her attraction. However, it's false. It is not real. So this expectation that you guys make everybody look up to and try and reach, being that it's unobtainable, women are always going to feel insecure. You are starting off from on bad footing, a bad foundation. You're, you're, you're selling this dream to all these women that, hey, look, you see the way I look? You can look like it too. Yes, but not naturally. Yes, but not normally. 
Yes, but not at the, but always at the sacrifice of your principles and reality. You have to always get into a deceptive, a, a line, a, a, a wizard-like stance in order to obtain this. You're teaching women, hey look, you have to be corrupt in order to have peace. You have to be a liar in order to find happiness. You have to deceive in order to find comfort. Validation. All this stuff is retarded. It's, I mean, you, you, it's, it's pretty self-evident as I'm saying it. So, what else? Women, there's, there's, there's better ways to figure out how to be a better, how to look better. Sometimes that means you might have to stop working as much so you're not stressing as much. Sometimes you need to sleep more. Sometimes you need to stop all the substance abuse. Your eating habits. You might have to exercise some more, you see? But women don't want to do this because women are a lot of times lazy. They are, which is why they're doing what they're doing now, right? I'm so lazy. I don't actually want to become a better looking person. I just want to act like one. And that's... <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, I'm, I'm going to make another video about this because this, this is it's ridiculous, man. But going back to the men. See... You meet a woman, right? You meet a woman, she's pretty. At least, maybe you think she is. You gotta kinda look behind all that stuff. Once you see what she's, what she's really looking like, then you might decide you actually wanna, you know, be with her. This is where you get to shine because you, you set your boundary. Hey look, you're not wearing this stuff anymore. No more. You're not doing it. And if you don't like it, just go be with the next James. You're not going to do this with me, though. You've explained to her why it's evil. You've explained to her why you're lying. You're not, being, you're not being honest with your own self. So, now you lay the groundwork for being able to teach her and guide her into becoming, actually getting what she wants. Yes, the road will be hard. Yes, you're going to challenge her on her diet. Yes, you're going to challenge her on how much sleep she's getting and, how, and, and whether or not she's um, taking care of herself. Yes, you're going to challenge her on that. But at the end of it, she's going to see you and she's going to look up to you as a person who she can trust because even though she seems to be going against her own very nature, if she trusts in you and you guide her, right, that's how you get respect. So, yeah, man, there's plenty to be said about that, but I'll probably make another video. Take care.